Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'd like to talk about how terzepatide has been taken off the medication shortage list by the FDA and what that means. So terzepatide, also known under the brand names Zepbound and Manjaro, and because Manjaro and Zepbound have been so difficult for patients to get because of a medication shortage, compounding pharmacies have filled in that gap. And they've been allowed to produce essentially a copy of the active pharmaceutical ingredient known as terzepatide. I've talked about using compounded anti-obesity medications in the past, and I've been comfortable doing so. But now that the FDA has removed terzepatide from the drug shortage list, that has created a problem. Compounding pharmacies can no longer produce essentially a copy of the active pharmaceutical ingredient because supposedly Zepbound and Manjaro are now easily available. I have some hesitations with that. I, I don't think that that's completely accurate, but I know the pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly has likely pressured the FDA into acquiescing and saying that there is no longer a drug shortage simply so compounding can be significantly cut back on. In my mind, we have three options going forward. Number one, if you are on lower doses of terzepatide, either 2.5 milligrams or five milligrams, you can switch to Zepbound and get it in vials. Vials are less expensive. A 2.5 milligram monthly dose of Zepbound is $399 and a five milligram one month supply of Zepbound is $549 in vials. You'll receive four vials in the mail through the Eli Lilly direct-to-consumer pharmacy. I've had patients that have used that direct-to-consumer pharmacy and have had good success. They mail it directly to your house. The nice thing is that the vials are preloaded, meaning that you just you don't have to measure out the quantity. You just take everything out of that particular vial and that's the correct dose. The second option is to talk to your doctor about switching you from compounded terzepatide to compounded semaglutide. Compounded semaglutide is still available because Wagovi and Ozempic are still considered a drug shortage. The difficult thing for a lot of my patients though is that they chose to go on terzepatide because it works a little bit better. Studies have shown more weight loss with terzepatide than semaglutide. And some of my patients actually have maxed out the dose of semaglutide and then switched over to terzepatide to see if they could get more weight loss and most of the time they have. A third option that I'm not sure about but that I'm talking with a compounding pharmacy that I use is they are going to start adding vitamin B6 which is a water soluble vitamin possibly shown to have some beneficial effect on weight loss to the compounded terzepatide so that the product is different. My hesitation with that is that if they're essentially still producing a copy of terzepatide, then I don't know how they're getting around the patent infringement. Making essentially a copy of terzepatide has only been allowed because it's been in shortage. And that's what the FDA is clamping down on. I'm in discussions with my compounding pharmacy about what that looks like and what that means. I don't love adding another ingredient to terzepatide anyway without studies. I assume that it's probably safe, but I just need more information on that. And like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not sure that that solves the patent infringement problem. I'm really disappointed with this decision that the FDA has made. I don't think Zepbound and Wigovi are readily available for patients in terms of being able to find it and especially in terms of cost. And I would plead with Eli Lilly to please consider releasing the upper doses of the medication in vial form to lower the cost. I don't think anyone wants to violate patent law, but these medications are simply unobtainable for patients when they're 1200 or or even 800 or even $600 a month. I knew this day would come. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be this soon. This is an issue that's actively evolving, so stay tuned as I give more updates. And thanks for joining me.